Hello, if you're not new, welcome back, home dog. So today I filmed this super glowy spring summer look. I have oily skin and I find it hard to achieve a glowy look while still not looking like a oily mess. So, so this is the look that I did. So I've been getting a lot of questions on my Instagram lately about my hair extensions. These are the Zala hair extensions. This is the ponytail extension. I believe it's in... Sandy Blonde or something. I'll leave all the info about it below as well as a discount code. I've had this for about two years now. I'm absolutely obsessed with it. It matches my normal hair like perfectly. Like that's my normal hair and that's, you can't even tell. Like, like what do you mean? So this is the best thing ever. Like when I haven't washed my hair in like days or if a friend's like, you know what, let's go out. I'm just like, sure. I'm just going to chuck in my ponytail and look all bouge. I'm obsessed with that, especially when your brows are fresh and your makeup just looks bomb as well. And then you just put this hair extension in you're like, you're looking 10 out of 10. So also recently they've sent me their hair extensions as well. And I always thought because I have thick hair, like I shouldn't wear hair extensions because you'll be able to like notice because it'll go thick to like really thin. But these are, I believe, the nine... Nine weft? I don't, I don't really understand hair extensions. Again, I'll leave all the information down below. But these are them. This is just one of them. And, oh my god. I wore them one night in Sydney. I'll leave like a photo just here for you to see what they looked like. I was obsessed with them. And they looked incredible on. They blended in so well with my hair. I have to tone my extensions only because when I tone my hair, like my natural hair, it goes a bit ashy, so I just need to tone these a little bit and also tone these a little bit. So these match perfectly with my hair. So these are human hair, which is incredible. I have honestly brushed these, straightened them, curled them, toned them. And honestly, I've had this for two years and it's still in perfect condition. So yeah, like I said, I'll leave a discount code down below for you guys to use. So yeah, enough of me talking. Let's just jump straight into the video. So I primed my face with the Benefit Professional, then I'm taking the Tarte Radiance of the Sea Radiance Drops. This is key for this look. Like, I thought I would not be able to use this oily product because of my oily skin, but oh, it works so good. Then I'm just taking my Too Faced Born This Way foundation, and I'm in the shade sh Shand. I'm in the shade Sand because obviously I have a fake tan on and I have to match that to my neck. And I'm just blending that in with a beauty blender. And then I'm taking my favourite concealer, which is the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer, and just placing it under my eyes, bridge on my nose, forehead, chin, and cupid's bow. Honestly, I've been listening to my SoundCloud playlist so much lately. It is so good. I'll leave the link below if you want to follow it and check it out for yourself because it is fire. So then I'm going in with my LA Girl Cream Concealer. I like it's concealer, but I use a contour because multi-purpose use and I'm just placing that everywhere that I want to contour I don't know why I say where I'm placing it because clearly you guys can see it and then I'm just blending it in with this brush that my friend Monica gave to me and honestly this brush is so good it's by Napoleon and oh, it blends in your cream contour that good And then I'm baking under my eyes with the Kat Von D translucent powder. I love this powder for under my eyes. 
And then I'm setting the rest of my face with my MAC Studio Fix Powder. And then I am taking the Tarte Clay Play Contouring Kit. I'm obsessed with this contouring kit. It's pretty much all I've been using lately is that good. And then I'm taking the peachy shade from the Maybelline, the bronze palette, I believe it's called. I am obsessed with this palette. If you watch any of the videos on the Makeup Loft, you'll see that I use this all the time in my tutorials. It's such a good palette. I'm then bronzing my face up with the last shade of this palette as well. So for highlight sisters, I am taking the Anastasia Beverly Hills Sun Dip Palette and I'm taking the Summer Shade. This gives you like a wet look. Like, oh my god, I'm obsessed with this colour. It is so beautiful. I don't really use the other shades of this palette, but this one shade is absolutely stunning. Can we take a moment to appreciate that glow? Thank you. So for my brows, I've been using the Brow Majesty by Sylvia. So she owns Sheba where I get my eyebrows done and she's released her very own brow line. So I'm using that brow pencil and then setting it with her Klee Brow Gel, which, oh my God, I love how my brows look using these products. So then I'm taking Raw Sienna and Burnt Orange and I'm placing that in my crease and on my lower lash line. And then I go in with Real Gar and just place that in my crease. I am then taking Vermeer from the same palette and placing that on my inner corners and my brow bone. I then went on to applying some mascara and then I applied the Fenty Beauty Gloss Bomb Universal Lip Luminizer and I am in love with this shade. It is so beautiful and it's not sticky whatsoever. And then of course, lastly, you want to be setting your face, girlfriend. So that's it for today's video guys, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up as it helps me out a lot, as well as subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. So I'll see you in my next video, bye!